This is your first MMA fight, I believe. Yeah, it's uh, my very first one. Just trying to hope they show off my talents to the people of Cork. Mm. Try and make it for mm. Have a bright future, hopefully. <laughs> uh, you'll be flying the flag for Cork as well. There's uh, just you and another Cork guy in the card as well. So it's going to be important for you to have that support from your hometown fans in your very first fight. Ah, yeah. It's like There's a lot of family and friends coming and they'll be flying the, the rebel flags as well, hopefully. Like so. I just want to, as I said, show off my talents. And when, did you, when did you start uh, fight training? Roughly five months ago. And you're doing your first MMA fight already? Yeah. So he must have some talent, though. So. Well, that's what they're saying, yeah. Mm. <laughs> yeah. How would you describe yourself as a fighter? Out and out brawler. Yeah? That's it. Do you, know much, <laughs> do you know much about the guy you're going to fight? No, I'm, I was actually supposed to find out today, but no one got back to me as of yet, but... Doesn't really bother me what he's like. Mm. As, as I said, I'm a brawler. I'll take anyone out. Have you been visualising how it's going to feel when you walk from the dressing room to the crowd into the octagon? Ah, uh, yeah, I can't sleep at night over it and stuff yeah. like that. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm sure everyone's going to be thinking about stuff like that, but mm. just not leave it get the better of me. That's it. Mm. Your coach Justin Robbins is also fighting on the card. Um, you've been training under him the last couple of weeks since he arrived from the states. How much has he brought your game on, and how much have you learned from him? He's made an awful difference. It's unbelievable. Yeah. much I've changed and people around here have changed since he came on board mm. so we're all happy with that anyway. not just in skills but in the attitude as well Justin brings a very professional winning mentality to the table yeah he's he's very big on motivational stuff and to be honest I'm kind of getting into all that stuff as well now yeah. myself like so yeah but I believe in all that and he does and most people around here would as well like you know you can't go wrong with someone like him in your corner as well someone with a wealth of MMA experience there to coach you and help you along in your fight Oh no, you can't go wrong at all, man. Trash talking people. As he said himself, lift them up and bring them over to my side of the cage and trash talk. <laughs> so, do you have a game plan without giving too much away? Because I know your opponent might hear this, but do you have a game plan? You just want to stand and, 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 and trade with him, or do you want to bring him to the ground and, and ground and pound him? We'll see how things go. We'll see how things go. That's all I can say. No, I know fighters will never admit to being nervous, but it, it does play a certain part in, in, in the build up to it. Are you feeling nervous now, or is it more confidence that you're feeling? It's more confidence, mm. more confidence. Like I am nervous as it is my very first fight, and I have a lot of people watching and join family and friends and stuff mm. like that. But I'm very, feeling very confident. Mm. But you do have a fantastic team behind you here at the boxing clinic who are going to be a, a huge help you on the night. Ah, yeah, that's where the confidence comes from because they know that they're training me to the best of their ability, and I'm also doing my best. So mm -hmm. confident. So how good is it going to feel when you get your hand raised in Neptune Stadium? Well, let's put it this way, I've been off the drink for the last three months and that's going to end that night, I guarantee you. <laughs>